Let me, let me say a word also about uh, ESDP that has been mentioned by the, the rapporteur. I think we can say with, uh, uh, without uh, exaggerating that has been a success. Important uh, in a very visible uh, manner of handling the CFSP. In the last five years, and it's, it's good to recognize that, we have deployed more than 15 missions, in fact 17. We have now in action 14 out of those, civilian and military, on the three continents, in Europe, the Balkans, in Africa, in Middle East, in Asia, and that is something that is well recognized in the, in the report and I appreciate very much. But uh, the report, uh, in particular Mr. Kuhn's report, uh, highlights some of the challenges, some of the shortfalls uh, we face in ESDP. And I write, I agree on most of the things that have been said there. However, however, we are working on it. We take into account the lessons learned from missions. We adapt our structures, both on civil and military side. We try to make more of a CIFMIL, civilian and military cooperation, therefore to have a comprehensive approach, which I think is the aim also of the, of the report. A, I think a good progress made at the, at the Council last week with the Foreign and Defence Minister and the Foreign Affairs Minister together was an important, important in the, in the uh, um, decision on the right direction. I mean, the rapporteur, Mr. Kurt, has mentioned uh, the key word helicopters, uh, which, as you know, is one of the most difficult that the international community is facing now as far as crisis management operations. The capabilities we need are not here, and the capabilities we have are not ready or not the most suitable for the challenges of today. I want to tell you that uh, already today we have taken the decision, not today, months ago, but today is operational decision for the uh, Defence Agency to concentrate on that practical issue of helicopters. And I hope very much that uh, as you will receive information from the military and the European Union, that is something that will be tackled, and I hope will be tackled in a coherent, in a coherent manner. Mr. President, I, I don't know if I have a minute uh, left, uh, if don't I stop, but if, if I can let me at least uh, say a couple of things about the, the situation of the world today, the hottest spots and the things which uh, we are trying to resolve. I think it's, it's, it's more than natural that I say a word about Georgia. Uh, Mr. President, I can announce to you that uh, tomorrow morning I will leave to Georgia, I will visit the Tbilisi and the authorities there, and I, was, I will be also in Afghanistan. I think it's very important that in this, as we go to the, to the weekend, we visit Georgia, but we visit also Afghanistan and have the possibility of seeing we can move direct contact between the two sides in the framework of the friends of the Secretary General for the moment and see another more uh, active uh, uh, format can be put in place. I don't think that will be resolved everything in this weekend or before the end of the weekend, but I hope very much that we will have a, a positive and constructive contribution from the, from, the European, from the European Union. At least uh, these two things, I think I had the obligation to report to you, together with the situation in Lebanon that has been also important events have taken place in the last period of time. I had the privilege uh, with the Vice President of the Parliament to be there that Sunday. It was a very moving moment in which an agreement had been reached. General Soleiman is now the president. After 18 months in which that building we were that, that afternoon uh, had been closed, it was open. And uh, I hope that uh, that decision that was reached in Doha, in Qatar, will allow uh, the evolution of Lebanon towards peace and towards the election in 2009. As you know, this uh, agreement is not perfect. It has positive elements, but it has also elements which are not so positive. But let's see and let's hope that with our help, with our coherence in our action in the coming period of time, we will help the process to be a real one positive, all of it, which at the moment is still is not complete. The Prime Minister has been reappointed. Juan Signora is a dignified man, a man that we should respect. He is in charge of the government now. Let's hope that he will be able to arrive safely to the election process. We will be in the middle of 2009. Mr. President, I would like to talk about many other things, but I think with this uh, intervention, which I've crossed the, the, the limit of 10 minutes, I have given to you at least a sentiment of what are the issues that uh, I'm going to be tackling in the coming period of time. Of time. I'd like to convey to you also the, the information that I will be in Tehran. I have not been in Tehran since uh, 2006, month of September, or June. 
to be, to be more, more, more precise. I have had uh, many, many meetings with the leaders of Tehran during the period of time, 2006 until today, but I, I have decided, together with the six countries which are involved in this negotiation, to go back to Tehran and meet there with the leaders of uh, Tehran. I will carry with me an upgrading position of the one we maintained in 2006. I don't expect miracles, but I think it's important for us to continue extending also a hand, therefore to make clear that we have a double-track approach, an approach of negotiation to solve the, the, the basic issues, in particular the nuclear issue, but at the same time to continue using, using what New York offers to us in the Security Council. Mr. President, I stop here. Thank you very much for your attention.